Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to take a look at iOS 7 tips for messaging. This is the first in a series of videos I'm doing on iOS 7 and how to get the most out of your device. First thing we want to take a look at is messages, but before we go into messages itself, we want to look at the settings for messages. Once we're in settings, we scroll down to messages, so you'll start at the top, scroll down, and you'll find messages, tap on messages, and you'll see a bunch of different options. Here you can see iMessage. iMessage is activated on my phone, and it's for iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and Mac. And it allows you to message those devices directly as long as they have a Wi-Fi connection or some sort of data connection through 3G or 4G service. And it allows you to bypass your text messages. It also allows you to know when someone's messaging you and that they've got your message as well. It's really handy and, and something that's really nice, so I'd recommend turning that on. You also have the option to have read receipts, which is what I said before. It lets you know when people have read your messages. You can also send as an SMS, so in the case that iMessage is unavailable, which it is from time to time, you can turn it on and it will send as a text. Send and receive just says what you're sending from as far as your address. So you have your phone number or email addresses or many email addresses as I have here. You can send from those. And then below we have some other options such as MMS, that's picture and video messaging or multimedia messaging. And then we have group messaging. We can show a subject field if we want. And we can also do a character count. And then one of the new features that's great is blocked. So if you have a lot of spam or people are spamming you with messages you don't want them to text you any longer, you can just simply block them. You can also block their phone calls doing this and FaceTime calls. So it's really nice if you're getting an annoying message. The only catch is you need to add them to your contact list. So to do that, we hit Add New, and we can pick somebody, and it will block that individual. Or we can add a new person, but we need to go into our phone application down here in order to do that under Contacts. For now, we'll just stick with Nothing Blocked. So that's all the settings. Now let's go into the application or the app itself under Messages. So you can see here are all the people I've been talking to, uh, my wife, my brother, other people as well, and you can scroll through your messages pretty simply. We can also edit and delete this whole text message, so if we don't want to have this text message, we can simply delete it, and that whole conversation is gone. If we want to text someone, such as my wife here, I'll tap on it, and then we can tap below and message them and hit send. You can see it says delivered and we can just scroll through and you can see that it has a nice transparency with iOS 7 that goes right behind the background. So it's really nice there. And then the other thing we can do is send a message or a video. So we hit this little icon and we can take a video or a photo or choose an existing photo or video and send that to that individual or to multiple people. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. We can also contact the person from this particular menu. We hit contact and we have the option to call, FaceTime, or get more information about that person. That brings up their contact information that you see under your phone messages. If we go back, we can start a new message by hitting this button here. And maybe we want to send it to multiple people. So we'll type in my brother's name. We'll type in another person here. And now we can message both of these people at the same time, send them a photo or a video. Really handy that way as well. If we scroll all the way to the top, we can load earlier messages. So we want some earlier messages, we tap on it and they'll load. Pretty simple and really pretty easy to use and really handy. It's probably the thing I use the most. Now finally, there is blue here, you see. If you have green, it means you're receiving a text message from someone that's not using iMessage. So you can see there's green and blue. If it's blue, it's iMessage. If it's green, it's a text message. If you have any comments or, or questions regarding this particular video, please place those in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.